Harry Redknapp backs Manchester United to win 2023 forward 24 Premier League title. Former Premier League manager Harry Redknapp says he backs Manchester United to beat City to win the title this season. The 2023 forward 24 campaign kicks off in a week, with curtain raiser the Community Shield being held later today. United will play their final pre season match against Athletic Bilbao in Ireland, with the club's league campaign starting on Monday, the 14th of August, at home to Wolves. United finished in third place last season and there is optimism about what Eric Ten Hag may be able to achieve in his second season at the club. Speaking to The Sun, former Tottenham boss Harry Redknapp says he believes Manchester United will win the title in 2023 forward 24. He said, I'm actually tipping the Premier League to stay in Manchester. Just not with the team everyone thinks. Redknapp explained that he has been impressed with the club's summer transfer business so far. He said, Eric Ten Hag did a great job in his first season at United and he's another who has had a decent summer in the market. I've always liked Mason Mount and he is a great addition to the midfield while Andre Ananer is one of the best keepers in the world. Rasmus Hodgelund might not have been their first choice for a new striker at the start of the summer but he looks a great prospect. I think United are fantastic value and in my book they will be a real threat to everyone this season. He went on to explain that he believes Arsenal will not have what it takes to win the league, and thinks City could fall short after losing Riyad Mahrez and Ilkay Gundogan. There has been a push from the media in recent days to pile the pressure on United as title contenders. Ten Hag shut this down last week, insisting he is not interested in such projections, as the league is so competitive. He told The Telegraph, I think in pre-season we shouldn't talk about that, the title, I think no one in the Premier League can do that, except, maybe City. Benjamin Sisko and Bruno Fernandes react to Manchester United ceiling £64 million transfer. Manchester United formally completed the £64 million signing of Denmark international striker Rasmus Hodgelund. Rasmus Hodgelund was unveiled at Old Trafford ahead of Saturday's 3-1 friendly victory at home to Lens. It was a great way to welcome the striker, with Rafael Varane and Case Myro welcomed at the stadium in a similar manner in recent seasons. Hodgelund has signed a deal until 2028 which has an option to be extended to 2029. Rasmus Hodgelund watched on as his new teammates fought back from a goal down to win 3-1 at Old Trafford against Lens. Speaking to club media, he said, It is no secret that I have been a fan of this great club since I was a small boy, and I dreamed of walking out at Old Trafford as a Manchester United player. The striker sent a message out on Instagram too, which read, Let's get started Japanese Ogre Fire Fire so happy to be part of the biggest club in the world. I want to say a huge thank you for the warm welcome at Old Trafford. He received messages in response from United teammates Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes, who expressed their support. Alejandro Garnacho was another player to reach out, and it will be exciting to see the duo in action together. However, this will have to wait a little. Hodgelund has arrived with a minor injury, the men report, and could miss the opening weeks of the season while he recovers. Another player to respond to Rasmus Hodgelund's move to Manchester United was Slovenian striker Benjamin Sisko. Sisko left Hodgelund a message with two fire emojis, wishing him luck on his big step to Manchester United. It quite easily could have been Benjamin Sisko in Hodgelund's position, after United made an approach to Red Bull Salzburg for his services last summer, looking for a potential striker to build around. Sky Sports reported how talks were held but the two clubs could not reach a compromise on valuation, with Salzburg going on to agree to sell to their partner club RB Leipzig. Sisko and Hodgelund both played together in Austria, while the Dane was at Stum Graz. As he watches Hodgelund from afar and wishes him well, we wonder if he's secretly a little regretful about what might have been, while we also suggest that by waiting, Manchester United have landed a superior player. Sofian Amrabat would be ideal Manchester United signing, says ex-defender. Former Manchester United defender David May has given his thoughts on the impending signing of Moroccan midfielder Sofian Amrabat. The Fiorentina midfielder, who was sensational at the 2022 World Cup for the African side as they reached the semi-final, has been heavily linked with a move to Old Trafford.
David May believes that the midfielder could be a great move for United and for a decent price, too. Amrabat has been well talked about. He had an unbelievable World Cup, the former United defender said speaking on the Webby and Anil YouTube channel. He would be the perfect age for us, he's approaching his prime. He's not expensive either, if we can offload a couple then he'd be the addition that I'd like to see. It comes as more and more talk is developing around the Moroccan midfielder's future. Reports from Italy are saying that Manchester United are one step away from signing Sofian Amrabat. According to a report from Italian outlet Gazzetta Dello Sport, United are yet to make an acceptable offer for the Moroccan, but Amrabat believes the decisive step is coming. The Moroccan midfielder has been heavily linked with United this summer although whether the deal would come off without sales remains to be seen. If the deal were to come off, then the Red Devils would have a more than capable understudy to case Myro, but they need sales. One of the stipulations that United needed to abide by when it came to negotiating the signing of Amrabat, according to The Guardian, was the need for sales of their current midfielders. United have reportedly put Fred and Donny van de Beek up for sale according to the Daily Mail and one player is reportedly close to leaving. According to the same report, the sale of Donny van de Beek is more advanced than that of Fred to Galatasaray. The report from the Mail says that the midfielder's move to the Spanish side is further along and there is hope that a deal can be done. Fred's move to the Turkish side, meanwhile, is also progressing with Galatasaray ready to follow up on their original offer, which was turned down.